Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. As you all know, shortly after I tested Genshin Impact on the S21 Ultra, Golden Reviewer reached out to me and we both discovered that Samsung devices seem to have an FPS bug, where FPS is miscalculated and false. For this channel, I tested in all Apple devices FPS readings are correct and accurate. This bug is only found in Samsung devices, preferably the S21 series. Thus, I had to retest to give a more accurate result for my channel. I owe this to you all and want this channel to be known for its honesty and trustworthiness, hence the slogan. With that being said, before we jump into gameplay and results, I want to give a quick disclaimer. This game is poorly optimized with bad coding, which means devices will have to work twice as much or even harder. Therefore, this game is not a benchmark and this performance should not be referenced as a benchmark that determines the device's overall performance. Second, the chip is new and Samson still has to further optimize the SoC. For those that follow my channel, you should be full aware how much the iPhone 12 814 Bionic chip improved with one update. Hence, use this video as more of a reference for what to expect with Genshin Impact's gameplay if you're deciding to purchase this device while awaiting software updates and optimization. Last, I did use the same route and game I tested with the iPhone 12 Pro Max to make the comparison more fair. With that being said, let's dive in. You know, there are better ways to seek out our enemies than, well, standing here.
on the agenda. In conclusion, as I said before, this game is definitely not optimized for this device. At times, it would drop to 25 FPS while walking, but sustain 50 FPS during intense combat and particle effects. Nevertheless, as you can see, this device gets hot due to it having to work hard to keep up with this game. It gets up to 45 Celsius in the front, while getting up to 44 Celsius in the back of the device. As for FPS, the S21 Ultra averaged 40 FPS, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max averaged 58 FPS. I'll definitely be retesting this device during future updates. Like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I do believe with optimization and future updates, the performance will improve for the S21 Ultra. With that being said, please stay tuned as this is one of the many tests I'll be doing on this device. If you would like to support this channel and future content, please subscribe. I buy all of these devices with my own money to test for you all. So please stay safe and see you next time.